guys, we're not reacting to a rehearsal. As you know, Australia are using their uh, live on stage, uh, sorry, live on tape footage uh, for Eurovision this year. But we have been treated to uh, sneak a very, very kind of Brief. sure <laughs> sneak peek uh, of their live on tape um, performance. Uh, so uh, if we talk about the visuals first, because it was hard to get the vocals from uh, yeah. from the clip that we saw on YouTube. And you guys can actually go and watch this clip on the official Eurovision channel as well. First of all, let's talk about uh, the outfit. I love the outfit. I actually love the outfit too. I wasn't, I didn't know what Montaigne was going to wear because she's, a, she's like a chameleon. You never know what kind of clothes or style she was going to wear. So um, this time she was wearing some kind of um, balloon pads, uh, shoulder pads and or like, and she was all dressed in black and it looked like some kind of in between uh, leathery and plastic, uh, some material like that, and it's shiny, and it just suits her really well, and it's very much into the character of the song, I think. Yeah, and we also got a good sense of uh, how the performance is going to be mm -hmm. lit as well. So I saw some kind of lighting that matched her hair, mm -hmm. actually, yes. uh, which was very bright and colourful, which I think is what she really, really needs mm -hmm. uh, with a song like this. I might be wrong, but from the brief clip, I thought I saw two outfits. I saw it like a silvery jacket as well. Um, Time with to kind take of off big, your cloaks. Big shoulder pads. Mm. So I imagine that that's going to come off uh, partway through the performance. And we do love a dress reveal. Yes, um, indeed. But yeah, it's hard to really go on this, yes. isn't it, to see? There's dancers. She has uh, dancers around her in uh, some part of the clip. But um, I personally couldn't quite make the whole sequence of how it's going to happen because it was like a few seconds of this, then the Eurovision uh, triangles coming together, then a few seconds of that. So we don't really know the flow yet. Yeah, and we're not really sure what's going to happen with kind of Australia's performance slots for the rest of the week, either mm -hmm. whether they're going to show the same clip or maybe they're going to have some additional footage to show. So like we said, it's a very, very brief clip. I think I'm happier after seeing the clip because now I've got, uh, I can get that Mardi Gras mm -hmm. performance yes. out of my head. And I think a lot of people were concerned about the vocals after seeing that Mardi Gras I, performance. I was actually happy with that uh, clip. I thought it was very clean, like her lines doing the, because for me it was more of a visual uh, presentation of how the song could be staged and uh, I think it's what we see here but with different outfit and what you mentioned about the lightings I, I like it it's two color lighting a clear one on the top and a darker one on beneath and I think it's going to give us some kind of vibe uh, about the, of the performance yeah, well, I just can't wait to see the actual uh, the actual clip. Yes. So we might have to wait until the semi-final before we see that. Um, you guys definitely will. So um, there you go. We'd love to know what you think of Australia's chances at Eurovision uh, this year. Um, so drop a comment down below. Don't forget to go to the official Eurovision channel and check out the uh, official behind-the-scenes footage there. Otherwise, guys, until the next one, Bye. see ya. We'll be right